down for our tea, afternoon tea. We have some bread rolls and things and a proper tea. And what's our paper say? Welcome to the Fab Awards!
team has delivered something worthy of the Penguin Teamship Award. This year's Penguin Award winner is a true collaborative team effort involving Winners, Vikings, Community Integrated Care, NHS Halton, CCG and Halton Borough Council, the Activity <coughs> Academy. The World Award, and this is the way that they're doing it, by bigging up what they do, the little things that they do, by sharing, by pinching with pride. So this <laughs> award is for the Respiratory Award, Evening Award. <laughs> And young people came to us and wanted to actually support the uh, shortlisting of this. And then they went on to pick their winner. There were a few little arguments in the room, a few tussles, um, and they loved every one of the shortlisted ones. But the one that they felt that really, really resonated with them for many reasons, and partly because they want to take control of their own health. They actually want to be role models for adults in this country, to actually look at self-care, to look at health literacy, and really think about saving the NHS through prevention. So they were really keen on this. So that's why they actually chose it. It wasn't because it's public health, honestly. Uh, it was very fair. So the winner, are you happy for me to get to the winner? So the winner of, uh, was, that the young people picked for us was the Vikings Game Changer. the TNT or Tiny Noticeable Things Award for a project or person that has embodied this sentiment. This year's TNT Award winner really understands and demonstrates that the little things are the big things. Yes, it's hashtag ultimate UHL team. Yeah! Of every other consideration. So that's fantastic. When you say you support the NHS, you can turn to anyone on your table, someone you know, a complete stranger, and say to them, I love you. And when you get sick, you can have some of my money, provided I can have some of your money when I get sick. And give them a hug. Try that. Look at someone on your table and say, I love you. When you get sick, you can have some of my money, provided I can have some of your money when I get sick. This year's Rhoda Parks winner is a person who truly lives the values so dear to Rosa Parks and works tirelessly to ensure those living with dementia have individualised care. Sharing regularly with us from Holland. Yeah. Uh, so obviously no clues in all of this. Yes, it's Ignare and music as dementia care tool. Well done. This award, thank you so much. Rose Sparks speaks up when all was silence. So this award I dedicate to all the hard work nurses. You doing so much work. So great work for everybody who is scared of them. And I really like that you speak up, just like Rosa did, when you have a good idea, when you see somebody who's struggling, or somebody who can help your colleague. I hope that that word 
I will hope that it will directly around the hospitals in the NHS, and it is your award. You remember to speak up. Thank you. Thank you. For a world premiere, if you will. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, I thought I might branch out into the world with magic. Now, I've got to be honest with you, I've never done magic before. And I did get this trick on eBay. And it just arrived this morning, it comes in two parts. This is the uh, lower level part, and then there's the advanced level trick. So um, I thought I might give it a go, both of them a go live here today. Are we up for this? Now, I said this to Nigel, our sound engineer. I said, Nigel, I've got a brand new trick I might try out this afternoon. And he said, you're not doing that. You're not doing that in front of a live audience. And I said, Nigel, it comes with instructions on a CD. So we can all sort of learn it together. Ladies and gentlemen, should we give it a go? You heard the people at Nigel, take it away! Hello, magician. And thank you for placing this order with the Atlas Magic Company. We hope you enjoy your mail order magic trick lesson. This lesson is called The Mystery of the Vanishing Bandana. For this trick, you will need to get two props. One is a square of darkly colored fabric, and the other is a yellow bandana. First, pick up the bandana. Now fold the bandana in half. That's right, fold it in half. Now fold it one more time. Take the folded bandana and hide it in your left hand with the palm facing down. Remember to keep your hand in a natural position. You have just learned palming. That's what this move is called. Now we are ready to begin. Open up the folded bandana and show the audience it's just a regular bandana by waving it up and down. If someone in the audience does not believe it is a real bandana, allow them to wipe their face on. <laughs> now place the bandana temporarily on the table and pick up the dark square fabric and gather the four corners together, making what looks like a little bag. Using your left hand, now pick up the bandana from the table and fold it along the creases you made earlier. Now drop the bandana into the folds of the makeshift bag. From the outside of the makeshift bag, squeeze the bandana into a small little ball. Go ahead, squeeze it hard. What the audience did not see is that you never really put the bandana in the fabric at all. You really kept it hidden in your left hand. Remember palming? Again, remember to keep your left hand held naturally. Now make a magical gesture. And for your grand finale, open the fabric showing the bandana has vanished and receive your well-deserved applause. Strength to strength and their outcomes are as outstanding. The frail team flying squad. Two weeks ago, I was doing a thing uh, with uh, Sadiq Khan at uh, City Hall about how we've got to make sure that all of our nurses from around the rest of the European Union, uh, we give them a big welcome. And I said, look, find a friend who's working across the uh, 
NHS from Christy Ubrina, put your arm around them and give them a hug. And I realized that in the world of Me Too, that was a disastrous uh, suggestion. So anyway, delete that thought, but uh, I can report to you from the front line. Uh, we still have a government in this country. Uh, it's uh, 20 to 4 this afternoon, and they're still there. Uh, but the clock is ticking on this big thing. And in the meantime, of course, the NHS carries on. And come hell or high water, through thick or thin, what people in this country know, regardless of their political opinions, is that you will be there when they need them. And we just had this big moment, this 70th anniversary, where people have kind of taken a step back and said, okay, this thing that we kind of have come to know, what do we want to do with it? Do we want to re-up? Do we want to kind of double down? Do we want to put our hands in our pockets and actually pay for a national health service? Uh, or do we just want the pressures we've seen building so much to carry on and this thing to erode? And frankly, all of the politicians have had a really clear signal from the people that you look after that they love what you do, they want more of it to carry on, and we've got to help you do it. So thank you very much indeed. Okay, so this is our Fab Change 70 champion organisation, which is sponsored by IMS Maxims. Okay, and at this point I'm wishing I'd brought my glasses. Uh, yeah, do you want to borrow one? Uh, it says here that the champion organisation that has continued to support and better can do attitudes around the whole trust, and who says the lightning doesn't strike twice, yes, they don't let you down royally, they rise to your challenge. The winner is Princess Alexandra. Yeah. Yeah. Positivity, it says here. <laughs> Encouraging colleagues and peers, and who've energized an entire region to come together to support QI and change initiatives. And this year's Fab Chain 70 individual award winner is Leanne Lottie. <laughs> Absolutely overwhelmed by this. I really don't know what to say. Thank you for that. Well done, 